Hi there, Nick Martin from magleft.com. Super excited to be sharing this video with you. Thank you so much for signing up and we can't wait to get you published on your digital magazines. So in this video, I wanted to give you an overview of the information that, that's required for us to be able to go in and set up your apps and submit them to the app stores. So the first section that you wanna to go to is you wanna log into your account, select the magazine that you're working on. You you can work on uh, several magazines, it's free to set them up, but select the magazine that you want to publish and then go to the publishing section and select done by Magloff because that's part of the uh, arrangement and the deal that you signed up for. This will bring up a left menu over here and I'm just going to quickly browse through each section and spend a little bit more time on the images and icons because this is probably where you will spend the majority of your time. So under basic information is really what we need to submit to both Apple and Google Play in order to submit your magazines. So the first section here is really about getting a good description and um, we'll include more information on how you write a really good app description but your first sentence, like the first two or three lines, should really nail what your magazine is about and, and what benefits it can bring to the user because that's usually what they will see in the app stores. Then you've got some keywords and I suggest you use uh, single keywords. Uh, it could be football, uh, and then you divide them with comma. And don't use a space, because you only have 90 characters, and you want to use as many of them as possible. So it could be things like this, and just keep going like that. And we have a nice counter here to show you how many characters remaining. Info tab description, this will be inside of your magazine app when people click on or tap on the information icon. This can be an HTML, so if you want to add that, go ahead and add HTML code in here. Then we have a couple of links. Uh, support URL is required, and uh, marketing URL is optional. We've already given you a very basic, very standard privacy URL that is set up for your magazine um, by default. So you can use this or you can add your own. Then you need to se select some categories and rate your content in accordance with, with Apple. Uh, this one here, unrestricted web access, just leave that as no because that is not part of your magazine. Every time you fill out a section here, you'll see the progress bar move up and eventually it will fill and it will become green. So that kind of gives you an uh, indication of where you are at and, and where you need to put in some work. Next section is subscriptions. You can set up two subscriptions with the Done by Magloft. So you'd set up a duration, you set up a price, and these are based on the Apple price tiers. You can tap this uh, link here and it will bring up the price tiers that you can then figure out what uh, tier that you want to add for your subscription. Price, obviously you can do free or select one of the, the price tiers. There's a trial period. You can give a uh, free month or a week if you want, and that will just let people uh, sign up and get the first issue for free. Often offer, this is if they give you your, uh, their contact information, then you can extend the trial period or you can have only an opt-in offer. Uh, that means that if they uh, give you their email address, you could give them a free month subscription. If we go to issue pricing, here you can see this will automatically fill for each issue that you've created. So if you've created three issues under create content, you'll have three issues you need to set up here. And if it's set for free, all you need to do is give it a published date. If you select paid, then you again choose a price tier that you want uh, to price this issue at. Under integrations, we have a couple integrations that you uh, really want to add. So one is Parse. We use that for sending push notifications. Now you can use your own Parse account. So you just go to um, parse.com. There's a link over here on the right. Sign up for a free account, then add your email and login, and we'll go in and set up the account for you. Alternatively, you can flip this switch, and then we'll set up a Parse account under our main Magloff account and add you as collaborator so you get access to it. And you can see all the data, and you can send pushes from there if you want to. Uh, I recommend you set up your own account. It's just nice to, to have that ownership as well. Google Analytics, you'll want to go into Analytics and set up a tracking ID for a web, uh, sorry, for a mobile app. It's very important that you get this right. It should not be a web 
uh, tracking code, it should be for mobile. Facebook installs tracking here. We, you can go into Facebook and set up a, uh, an app and uh, we'll have more information on how, on how you do this. This is going to be really beneficial if you're going to run Facebook campaigns and also later on when we integrate stuff like Facebook logins and sharing and things like that. Now, finally, we come to images and icons. So this is where you'll probably spend the most of your time. And I'm just going to go over uh, what all these different graphics are and the requir requirements for them. Um, at any time, if you feel that it's too much or you don't have time for it, you can always order the graphics done for you. And we have a professional designer that will take all your requests and ideas and uh, references for art that you like and we'll come up with uh, graphics for you so you don't have to spend time on this. But what I actually want to do first is I want to download the graphics reference guide here. I'm just going to click that. It's going to op open a new window and load a image. So here is the image. It's a quite large image. Uh, you can download it and then have it uh, offline. So if we go back and look at the first image, shelf header image. Uh, this is part of the magazine shelf. This is inside the app where all your individual issues are going to be listed. So you have a header section there and you have two options. So these are options. Uh, you, you don't need to fill out both. You can either have a full size image or you can flip the switch to the left and have a centered logo. You can always see what's selected down here. Here you have the size requirements, what type of image and some other information. And if we have a look on the reference, you can see here we have the shelf header. I'm going to click to make this a little bit bigger. You can see here on the left side we have the full image and you will have the, the size that you need to set up for it here. And if you notice there's an uh, on the both on the left and the right hand side there's 256 pixels that will be cut off when you switch from landscape to portrait. On the other side we have the uh, logo, the transparent logo, which will sit nicely in the middle and always look really good. And here you have the size requirements for that. So this was the shelf header, um, either a centered logo or a full size image. Then we have the shelf background and this is what comes below the shelf header obviously. Um, you can select a pattern. So this is a repeatable image. There are tons of them online that you can find. Maybe you have your own already. So if, if you have a small image that you want to use for a pattern, you simply upload it here by clicking on the cloud. You can also choose a solid color and here you would simply add the hex color code so if I wanted it to be black it would be pound one two three four five six zeros or you could go with the gradient color and here you'd have the top color first let's say I want to go from from black to white it would be like this so the hexadecimal color or again you can go with the pattern. So you have these three options. If we scroll down and have a look at the app icon, again this is the app icon for your magazine. It has to be 1024 by 1024 pixels and you just upload it. There are really no um, other restrictions or restraints. So this is the app icon which is used if you go into settings on your device. It's also shown if you send a push notification, the icon will be shown there. This is not the uh, magazine cover image that you'll see on iTunes or in the App Store. This is taken from your individual issue itself. So this again is just the icon. We can have a look at the description over here again, the app icon. Square image, no rounded corners. Apple will do this automatically and so will Android. And here we have a feature graphic. This is something that will be displayed on Google Play for Android. Uh, it's a feature graphic and again on the uh, graphics reference you can read much more about this graphic and requirements for it. And lastly we have our launch image. This is a single image. Again you can choose between having a centered logo or using a full sized image. And Whatever you decide, you can see the requirements below will change. So here it's the centered logo. And if we go and have a look at uh, our graphics reference for the launch image, it's up here. You can see if you use a full size image, you'll want to make sure that there is 
an area that can be cut off without ruining the uh, the background image um, or you can go for the logo which is which will sit nicely in the middle no matter the orientation or size of the screen and that's about it so if you have any questions for these graphics do not don't hesitate to let us know we'll be happy to help you out and if you want to go ahead and order the graphics done for you package but have some questions again please just let us know and we'll help you out with that as well last but not least there's a published section here's where you will add your apple developer account information this is what we'll need to go in and um, submit your app to apple and we'll also be sending out with the email uh, instructions of how you can share your google play account so that we can go in and set up your app on your behalf once again, thanks for watching this video and I hope it gives you a good understanding of what's required for you to submit to us so that we can get started on customizing and submitting your app to both Google and Apple. We look forward to working with you. Once again, thank you for watching.